I was a history major. I've taken classes on Oregon history and African American history um, in Oregon, and particularly in Portland area. And I've seen local color, and I had some familiarity with with um, the Rutherford family. Um, but the thing that I have taken out away from the collection and like this project the most was just the level of day to day activities that went into you know average everyday life you know the family was completely immersed in the community completely immersed in activism around the community and how that actually made a larger effect you know with like the public accommodations law that they were running that those meetings and you know making the flyers out of their living room off of their dining room table and i think that that really connected for me that history isn't necessarily these things that happen at the top like we get we get to see you know the glossy things at the top or like oh the civil rights law passed and everything was great but you don't get to see all the work that went into that that is you know it's average people's agency and i think that kind of connected my degree for me and got me interested in looking at that in different aspects and different points of history moving here uh, from brooklyn four years ago i knew nothing about portland history or oregon history and um, having taken classes now in Oregon history and African American history of Oregon, and being immersed in the collection has really connected it all together. Um, that even though it's the Burdine Rutherford collection, there's so many other stories involved, which create the larger picture of the the story of Oregon. I didn't know that there was so many different organizations for African Americans in Portland. I didn't know that there were so many people that came from the East and the South to the West and to Oregon for jobs and for a better life. And that they would run into almost as much hate and discontent from whites as they did where they were. And it's been a, a wonderful journey and I hope it continues. I had learned so much just in that quarter in terms of archiving. I had really, I mean, by the end of that term, I had really decided this is what I want to do. I want to be an archivist. This collection, I mean, and I know in our presentation I talked about that with coming into the class, I pretty much was like, okay, this is the test run. Can I really do this? Do I want to do this? It's like a practice, like perfect, it's practice. And by the end of the term, it was like, yes, I want to do this. This is what I want to spend my life doing. This collection is amazing, and I want to keep working on it as long as they'll let me, because this is not only my first experience with archives, but such an exciting experience, mm -hmm. such an amazing collection. So there's just, there, it, there's so many treasures in there that it's just, I think we could all agree, like, it's, it's hard to let go. There's new stories, I mean, mm -hmm. this term all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I did it for personal and professional, future professional um, reasons. Um, I think that growing up, watching Eyes on the Prize, just feeling connected to the identity of African Americans and the consciousness um, is something that I connected to. And to then be able to come in here and work hands-on with primary documents and feeling even more connected is just, I couldn't pass it up. Had to do it. <laughs> the collection itself is a gem. You know, the fact that this four generations, five generations of this family is preserved, and all of the work and all the, and not even not even their generations. There are other families that are also preserved in this collection because Verdell mm -hmm. realized how important it was to keep that alive and to see her work and you know the work of the family involved in Charlotte's work. You know, in getting the collection to PSU. I just, I, I, more people need to know about it. More people have to know about this history. More people have to know about the amazing things like this exists and that there's something that can come out of it. You know, that it's still relevant to today. Not only that we're neck deep in a living, breathing archive that's just being built, but also that this, this particular archive has such richness inside it that we can see all of the, the intersection of of private life with the activism and the work, the hidden work and the non-hidden work and all the stuff that ends up as maybe appropriately a little thumbnail in a, in a history book somewhere, but to get scratched below the surface and see all of the different shades that went into that has just been extraordinary for me.